Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Friday of the 29th week in Ordinary Time, October 22nd, 2021, in which we celebrate the memorial of St. John Paul II, Pope. I'm Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we always begin, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Our first psalm is Psalm 51, entitled, O God, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, seeing guilt, I was born. A sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. For my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help with the spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Lord, you are the light of the world. A city set on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. Our canticle this morning is taken from Isaiah, entitled, People of All Nations Will Become Disciples of the Lord. Truly with you, God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of the earth who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding nor from some dark place of the earth, and I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in an empty waste. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble. Gather together, you fugitives, from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in counsel together. Who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old? Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be safe, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear, saying, Only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory of all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Our second psalm is Psalm 100, entitled The Joyful Song of Those Entering God's Temple. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing for joy. Know that he the, he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. With joy and gladness we cry out to you, Lord, and ask you, open our hearts to sing your praises and announce your goodness and truth. God's word is alive. It strikes to the heart. It pierces more surely than a two-edged sword. Our reading this morning is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Hebrews. Remember, your leaders who spoke the word of God to you, consider how their lives ended and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by all kinds of strange teaching. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed among us today is St. John Paul II, whose memorial we celebrate. He was born in 1920 and died in 2005. Carol Josef Batoyla was born in 1920 in Wadowice, Poland. After his ordination to the priesthood and theological studies in Rome, he returned to his homeland and resumed various pastoral and academic tasks. He became first auxiliary bishop and in 1964 archbishop of Krakow and took part in the Second Vatican Council. On 16 October 1978, he was elected Pope and took the name John Paul II. His exceptional apostolic zeal, particularly for families, young people, and the sick, led him to numerous pastoral visits throughout the world. Among the many fruits which he had left as a heritage to the church are above all his rich magisterium and the promulgation of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, as well as the Code of Canon Law for the Latin Church and for the Eastern Churches. In Rome, on 2 April 2005, the eve of the second Sunday of Easter, or of Divine Mercy, he debar departed peacefully in the Lord. He was canonized by Pope Francis on 27 April, the second Sunday of Easter, 2014. Our responsory, on your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Day or night, they will not cease to proclaim the name of the Lord. I have my watchmen to guard you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. On your walls, Jerusalem, I have set my watchmen to guard you. Our Canticle of Zechariah. What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the Spirit of my Father speaking in you. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet in the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
What you say of me does not come from yourselves. It is the spirit of my Father speaking in you. The response to our intercessions this morning is, God, with your great love, remember us. Forgiving God, in you we find redemption and mercy. Hear us as we pray. God, with your great love, remember us. For those who experience diminishment of mind or body, we pray. God, with your great love, remember us. For those who are imprisoned, exiled, exiled or held captive, we pray. God, with your great love, remember us. For those who are brokenhearted, anxious, or lonely, we pray. God, with your great love, remember us. For Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or have passed away, we pray. God, with your great love, remember us. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And our prayer to Jesus for healing and guidance during our COVID-19 pandemic. Jesus, Son of God, you were sent by the Father to bear our weakness. Be with us in this time of crisis. Merciful Savior, heal and comfort the sick, so that with health restored they may give you praise. Divine Physician, accompany our caregivers so that serving with patience they may heal wisely. Eternal, <clears throat> excuse me, eternal Wisdom, guide our leaders so that seeking remedies they may follow your light. Christ the Anointed, protect us in body and spirit so that freed from harm we may be delivered from all affliction, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. All-powerful and ever-living God, you called Saint John Paul II to guide your people by his word and example. With him we pray to you. Watch over the pastors of your church with the people entrusted in their care and lead them to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May God give success to our works and bless us with the peace of Christ that surpasses all understanding. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed weekend. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.